Brad with uh, BA Fabrication. Just out here on this uh, Thursday morning. <clears throat> 60 degrees. It's uh, two days after Christmas. And uh, <clears throat> we're finishing up another customer project here. Uh, <coughs> sorry about the voice. I had uh, bronchitis and strep throat. And, uh, well, about put me down. Hell, I, <laughs> it was pretty strong, pretty stout stuff. Anyways, we got yet another trailer here. Believe it or not, we do work on things besides trailers, but, you know, trailer owners don't seem to care if I video their stuff, and everybody else uh, I'm usually too busy to ask. But anyways, we're going to talk a little bit about shackles and bolts and uh, bushings. <clears throat> I know it's uh, uh, maybe not everybody out there is going to love this, but it is kind of a safety thing, and I think everybody needs to know about it. So, so down here, it's your spring. This is your compensator. Spring compensator, it's a tandem axle trailer. It's nothing too terribly complicated. Uh, <clears throat> this, and then here, normally there's a plastic bushing. A brand new bushing looks like this. It's nothing, I mean, just slides on in there. Well, you know, the bushings that came out of it look like that. And this is actually the good one. This is the good one. This is the best one I found. The rest of them were completely eight. <clears throat> Which leads me, you figure if that wear point's gone, and normally there's one of these, it's a new one. This is your shackle. It goes from point A to point B. Well, these are all wear points. <clears throat> so this here is a new shackle and an old shackle that just happens to be in really bad shape. Problem with that is that every one on this trailer except for one was in bad shape. And that was because the previous owner had just cut some quarter inch plate, welded some bolts through it and shoved it back in and it was in pretty rough shape too <clears throat> so it leaves a lot of wear points you can see the shackles being egged out like that what you end up with is I get this to focus is a bolt that looks a little bit like this see it's worn there <coughs> and it's worn back up excuse me folks back up here so there's your your point where your shackles were eating at it and then if you look real close you can kind of see how it's worn through there that's where the, the spring or the compensator, whichever part this was in, was eaten into it. And uh, I had some other bolts that looked pretty bad, but I think I had used the torch on them and they may still be a little, this one's pretty bad too. But uh, you can see where it's got the same wear pattern in it. That's supposed to have teeth in it and you can see how far down that has slid in the world and then where the shackles have been on it. So we go through and we clean these up. And and drag everything out and put new stuff in them it's uh you know it's just a safety matter if this fails with seven thousand pounds on the back of this thing which is what this trailer is rated for or the axles are uh, that's just a bad day anyways that's it uh this is this is something anybody at home could do um the only thing to keep in mind is the new bolts actually have uh, a crown just below the head of them and they they press into here <coughs> so you have an assembly with bolts uh, pushed through, but it, I just use a, a piece of pipe. I set that bolt down through it and smack it on the head with a hammer. Um, so these these here are uh, two dollars a piece. Um, the kit for bushings was ten bucks, and new bolts to do both sides was twenty. Uh, my cost, but my cost is just regular walk-in cost at the place where I buy this stuff. So <clears throat> uh, you know. You don't have to bring it to me, but but check these things out on your trailers. Make sure that you're safe going down the road. Uh, there's a lot of people who can get hurt the way these uh, these things are, and, and trailers are pretty dang simple. There ain't much for moving parts, but that's one of them that needs to be right. So thank you for taking time to listen to me talk today. I sure appreciate it. Y'all have.